So the black bear population in the state of California is doing really well. In fact, it's increasing. Uh, the one thing about black bears is that they do really well around people. Uh, oftentimes, you know, when we're moving into their habitat, we're building homes, we're bringing our trash, we're bringing our food. Uh, bears do really well around, uh, around people because they, they end up eating human food, they gain more weight, they have larger litters, uh, the population expands. So bears do really well around people. They're very tolerant of people and they're used to living around them in the same area. The biggest risk to bears here in Yosemite are humans. Uh, two things. One, people leaving their food out for bears. Uh, that is a huge risk for bears. They often change their behavior. Uh, they become, they go from being wild bears to food conditioned bears. They become bold and aggressive and that's when we might have to euthanize a bear. The other huge risk are cars, people driving too fast and, and hitting bears uh, on the roads. We've had uh, eight bears hit already this year. Last year we had 27 bears hit by vehicles. So that is a huge risk for bears in this park. I hope to make a difference in my work. Uh, the obvious is working with these uh, bear populations and I want to try and maintain a, a natural, healthy, wild bear population. So this is a yearling size collar. Uh, this, this unit is much smaller. It's made for a smaller bear, a bear that's about 100 pounds. And this is the automatic breakaway unit right here. Uh, you could program this unit to drop off on a certain day at a certain time. And it basically just pops off of the bear and falls off. The current project that we're working on, uh, last year in 2009, unfortunately, we had to euthanize a sow who had three cubs of the year. Uh, she was entering campgrounds, bluff charging people off of their food, and, and was basically a safety threat to humans. So we had to euthanize her, and we took her three cubs and put them in a rehab facility in Lake Tahoe. We brought them back over the winter months and placed them inside of a den. The definition of food is different for bears here in Yosemite. We think of food as the things that we eat every day, uh, that we're willing to put in our mouths. Bears, however, think of food very differently. Uh, food to a bear can be just about anything. It could be your toothpaste, it could be your sunscreen, chapstick, anything with a scent. Bears have a very strong sense of smell. I've actually seen a bear break into a car, break into the window, crawl through the back seat, dig through the back seat to try and get in, into the trunk. And when we had the owners come out and open the trunk, the only thing in there was a sealed can of peaches. The bear could smell through the car, through the trunk, and through this can of peaches. And, and uh, it, this bear was after that can of peaches. It was pretty amazing. So anything with a scent. And uh, you know, even empty ice chest. We hear that all the time from people. Uh, we see an ice chest inside the vehicle and they say, oh, but it was empty. Well, bears are very curious animals. They'll look inside the windows. They know what ice chests are for. Um, they don't know that that ice chest is empty. So even things like that need to be pulled out of the car. Once in a while, a black bear will bluff charge you, which means that the bear will uh, run at you, usually just a few steps, doesn't make any contact, uh, but does a, a very uh, loud huffing noise uh, and will maybe slap its paws on the ground. So I've been bluff charged a few times and eh, I have to admit that's a little bit scary at times. <laughs>